Hey, what's up everybody? Terry White here and I wanted to share with you my top five favorite features for the Adobe Express Max 2024 release. So let's dive right in. So Max 2024 usually brings all kinds of product updates across the board and of course Adobe Express is no exception. And uh, a lot of little things can be hidden in the interface because it's web-based. Things you might not notice right away. So I'm gonna show you my five favorite ones that got added uh, as of today. So first and foremost, uh, I've got a template here. And by the way, I, I didn't type that. That was in the template. I would never call my photography perfect by any means. We're gonna change that. Uh, but anyway, I, this is the template. So templates, as you know, have a font, they have colors, they have photos. Uh, they have all of this stuff that usually coordinates with each other. So I actually replaced this photo because I wanted to get, illustrate a better example of what's going to happen. So I'm going to go to brands. This is brand new. Brand, brand new. Get it? I'm going to go into uh, my Terry White Photography brand. Yes, you can have multiple brands. And what's new is you could apply brands before. Uh, but what's new, you notice there's a little dot there. That means there's new features. So if I click the little blue dot to the, to the uh, settings here, the new addition is recolor graphics. So we had apply colors, we had apply fonts, uh, but now there's one more recolor graphics and all of these are optional. So if you just wanted the colors from your brand, fine. If you just wanted the fonts from your brand, fine, but I'm gonna use all three. So what does that mean? That means it will change the fonts to my uh, brand fonts. It will change the colors to my colors and there's a graphic here. So it's gonna change something in that graphic, hopefully to my colors. And again, all of this is optional. You can turn on and off whichever ones you want. So let's go ahead and apply the brand. And I love the uh, Adobe Express magic <laughs> spinny thing there. And sure enough, it did it. So uh, here's before, because it was subtle. Look at the font. Look at the color of the jacket the person's wearing. So it applied uh, my purple, which is my color, to the clothing this is pretty 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 cool all right so i'm gonna go ahead uh let's let's fix this i'm gonna say that nope it's definitely not perfect photography i'm gonna say uh it's okay photography <laughs> let's let's call it that and of course you can change all the text to whatever you want and while you're at it while you're in your brand of course you can pull in your logo uh that's the purpose of a brand is it can have logos and graphics that you use all the time and that's cool. Now, of course, this uh, the text I could change to whatever I want, but at the end of the day, that's not my photo. That's not a photo from me. That's not me. Uh, so if I'm talking about my photos or my photography, I'd probably want to replace this. So let's go in. And this is that was feature number one, applying brand and brand colors. My top feature number two, and actually this is feature number one as far as I'm concerned, but I, I'm going to make it number two for now. Uh, if you go to your stuff while you're in a document, and this is what I mean by hidden, you would never see it here. But you notice it's files, projects, libraries, favorites. I can see that that's probably favorites. Well, if I scroll, Lightroom Photos is back. Yay, this is a long standing request for me, I know, to put Lightroom Photo integration back into Express. So when I click on Lightroom Photos, first thing it does is it shows me my most recent photos, and that's great, but of course, usually the photo I'm looking for isn't one I just took. I'm gonna to go to Browse All Photos. And when I go to Browse All Photos, that will show me um, recent photos and it will show me recent albums. And this is great because I can, again, what I'm looking for is not my recent albums. I'm going to go in and click Show Me All Albums go into my uh, TWP folder of albums, scroll all the way down to my, uh, let's see here, what do I want? I want my production shot faves, there we go. Uh, now these are my production shot favorites, which is great for this kind of advertisement because these are all kind of behind the scenes of some are me photographing, some are just uh, the setup and the lighting and all that. So I pick any one that one of these that I want. I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, this one, and I'll just go ahead and drop that in at photos, and it drops it in. And I want to go ahead and select that photo and say, "Hey, replace the page background with my photo." Great, it's there. Cool. Now, of course, uh, in this case, my colors don't really work for this. At least this one is okay, but this uh, "it's okay" is just not light enough. 
So I'm going to go ahead and select that and we can uh, fill it with whatever color we want. We can actually go get another color from the brand as well. So I can just maybe pick a lighter color than the one it originally did and that works. So there's my logo, which I can move it around now to a better spot. There's the text that was there, which I would change to my URL and all that, which by the way, for those of you who want to go follow my photography, it is Terry White uh, photography, Terry White actually dot photography. That is my, uh, my portfolio. So go check that out. And also of course, follow me on Instagram at Terry Lee White. All right, now I got those plugs out of the way. So Lightroom support is number two, being able to bring your Lightroom photos in directly without having to export them first. Number three is this, uh, this I find my, I'll find, I'll find myself using a lot. Now we all know that you can click on anything in an express uh, document and you can go to animation and you can animate that thing. But the problem is usually is, is it takes a lot to get started and try and figure out, well, what elements do I want to animate and how and where and when and it's a lot of trial and error. Well, now you get a jump start with auto animate. So you notice a new button up here, animation. This wasn't here before because you had to select the object. Now nothing selected. I'll click animation and I get uh, five different, probably going to be more, but five different, all text and all objects will be animated with this. Now, of course, you may not want them all to look like this at the end. You can go and then tweak each one individually like you always would, but now you get a jump start. So I'm going to take you through each one. There's Bloom and it's doing it. So it's converting this static image into a video and I can edit the timeline, but I'm not going to do that just now. And boom, it just, it bloomed across the page. That's cool. Now uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, glide. We'll hit play again and they glide across the page. That's cool. Popping. <laughs> I like popping. Uh, let's go ahead and hit that. And there we go. And they all pop onto the page. And of course, sunrise. Uh, well, there we go. Now it's taking a second click because it hadn't finished playing the first time because we don't see the timeline. There we go. So see, it, it, it hadn't gone all the way back to the beginning. Uh, so there we go. There's uh, sunrise. And then see, it's still playing. That's why when I clicked it, it didn't didn't know what to do. Anyway, let's go ahead and play uh, last one, Waterfall. And they all come down as a waterfall. Now, if I were to pick one of my favorites for this, I would say that it's going to be uh, Sunrise. Sunrise for this one, for me, feels and looks the best. But it animates all the elements on the page. They all come up in a sunrise, and that's great. And again, you can still go in. You can go back to any individual thing, and you can say, nope, I don't want that one to sunrise or drift in. I want that one to fade in and something went wrong. Okay. Let's refresh that. All right. So that's that one. Of course you still have individual controls over each one. So you see the animation for each one and what it's doing. They're all drifting in, uh, but you can go ahead and, and tweak or change any one of these just by going to animation and changing it to whatever you want it to be for that particular one. So you still have animate all, but now you can go in and tweak each one to be something different. Uh, but the animate all is a great way to get started. All right. So that's animate all that's number three, number four. And this is a picture of me. And uh, this originally just said happy Saturday, but I changed it to simply say, hello, how are you? And it's uh, doing typewriter text. And that's it. That was cool. That was an Instagram uh, post that I did, but a uh, story that I did. So, but what if you want something for your audience that speaks different languages? Well, we've had translate before, but now translate get, gets an upgrade. So we're going to hit translate. First and foremost, you get to translate it to multiple languages right here. So I'm going to translate it to Armenian. Uh, I know someone who speaks Armenian. I'm going to go in and say that I want to also do Italian. I know people that speak Italian. And I want to translate it to Portuguese. I know a couple people that speak Portuguese from Brazil. And Spanish. I know lots of people that speak Spanish. All right. So now that we got all of those done, that's great. Here's another new option. Tone of voice. So do you want it formal? Do you want it informal or don't change the tone? I'm going to do informal, which there's not a whole lot to work with with just three words, four words, but let's go ahead and translate it. 
Now it's going to, if you have multiple pages, it would translate all the pages. We're going to let it translate this one page, which is a video. Keep that in mind. And it made all the new pages and all the new languages, all the new videos for what I just told it to translate. So here's the Armenian one. Uh, again, I don't speak Armenian. I wouldn't even know what language that is by looking at it, but there it is. I can go back to the, uh, back to the pages. Here's the Italian one. Ciao. Uh, here's the Portuguese one. No clue. I need to learn another language for sure. And here's the Spanish one. Hola. So very cool to see those translations happen automatically in creating multiple, as many pages as you need for as many languages as you need for as many videos or as many static posts or as many flyers or as many business cards or as many whatever it is you need. Now you can translate those easily in Express. So number four is just having translation. I think that's cool. Number five, and of course I saved a cool one for the end. It's not as cool as Lightroom integration, but it's cool. All right, so um, a lot of times we end up, you know, starting with one layout and one photo and we need a different layout. So this is great vertically. Got a nice vertical photo going on there. Um, this is Jonah blah, 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 photography. Of course, you would change it to your own name and your own port, your own um, image. But let's say this was the image that I needed. I'm going to now say, oh, I need this to be a YouTube thumbnail as well. So when I hit resize, there's a brand new option called expand, which uses generative expand. So this is great, especially when you need to make something skinny wide. So I want to make this a YouTube thumbnail, which is going to be uh, 16 by nine aspect ratio. I'm going to hit duplicate and resize with the expand check mark checked. So first it's going to make the size. That's the size and that's all the stuff it needs to fill in and figure out. And it's using the power of Firefly and generative expand to do that. So now you don't have to figure out, oh, do I have a photo that works that'll fit that and be wide? Or do I have to, you know, now it just makes it for you and it gives you your three different variations. You're going to generate more like you always could to, if you didn't like any of these, to get the one you want. So that's cool. Now I could take, for example, um, this one and I'm going to say that, hey, I want to move this stuff not to be so much in the center. I can move them over there now. And that just looks and feels better. So you have your, uh, your wide thumbnail and you have your uh, vertical one for um, Instagram or TikTok or whatever it is you're doing. So that's it. Those are my top five favorite features in Express. There's more. There's Bulk Create. There's other things but that. These are like the ones I know I'll be using. So that's why they're my favorites. All right. Cheers, everyone. Go check out the rest of things that were introduced at Max. Go check out the rest of things that were introduced for Express. And we will catch you on the next one. Bye, everybody.